Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Parlay 2K7 and we are back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 real life mod video. We're here in Sandy Shores at our county location for our tow company, Ace Towing. And we actually got to go pick up a sheriff vehicle that caught on fire. Now, if you guys saw the last firefighter mod video when we were playing as a firefighter, we were on scene of a fire and somehow a sheriff vehicle crashed and caught on fire right next to us. And we put it out, but it's stuck in a ditch. So the whole goal today is to go ahead and recover that sheriff vehicle and tow it out of the ditch. And just in case you guys missed it, I'll put it up on the screen so you guys could kind of see what was happening. Now, anyway, we are here at the shop. As you can see, it is just starting to snow. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning right now. And we're just trying to make sure all the trucks are ready to go. Because you guys know, once it starts snowing, people do not know how to drive. They forget to slow down. They think just because they have four-wheel drive means they have four-wheel stop. And they could just stop on a dime. And it, it's just crazy. So we got to make sure all the trucks are ready to go. As you can see, we got Hector over here. Uh doing an oil change on one of the f-350s and making sure we are ready to deal with whatever happens with the snowstorm that's coming in later today so for today's episode we're going to take out one of my favorite records this is <laughs> don't mind that part right there this is the peterbilt uh 337 chassis with a flatbed rolled back uh wrecker on the back and uh yeah let's go ahead and get started so we are going to respond to this call. And I'll show you guys how the lights and everything look too. Huge shout out to Medic4523 for this one. I actually picked it up from being a silver donor on his Discord. So if you guys are interested in checking out some early models before they are released, definitely check out his Discord and consider donating. But um, yeah, definitely check it out. Not sure when it's going to be released, but whenever it is, I'll definitely up you guys, update you guys to let you know. But it is still a work in progress, by the way, so that's why it's not released yet. But when it is released, it will be completely free, and it should be on modificationuniverse.com. And I'll link that as well so you can check out some of his other mods. So let's get going, guys. We're going to be heading out to Polito Bay Forest to pick up this sheriff vehicle. And I think they just want us to drop it off at the station, which is like just a couple uh, blocks away, honestly. So it should be a nice, easy pickup and drop off. The hardest part is probably just going to be getting it out of a ditch. They said it's like 20 feet or so down in a ditch. So... That may be a little bit of a challenge, but we should be able to handle it without much of an issue. But yeah, guys, any of you guys got any snow yet? I know a lot of the uh, country got hit with a lot of snow um, yesterday and I think the day before, and maybe even today, too. Um, it's been some crazy weather moving through. We didn't really get any snow where I'm at in New York, but it's been freezing cold, though. Like, it's been about 25 degrees not counting a wind chill and it's just cold like <laughs> it is freezing but it is what it is and hopefully it warms up a little bit i mean it's not even fully winter yet at all and it's already freezing cold so it's gonna probably be a long winter this year but i know i can't complain because some of you guys are in other places where it's a lot colder Here we're gonna go ahead and pass this guy here Yeah, I'm kind of excited, though, to have snow in the game. We haven't really did any snow episodes in a while, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. I know it's going to get crazy out here, though. Like, the snowstorm's supposed to come in later today to uh, San Andreas, and it's going to be crazy. And I'm sure we're going to be super busy, like, both our city and county. Oh, oh really? You see this? Now, imagine when it starts snowing. That was literally right in front of us. We would have had to just probably tow both of those vehicles, put one on the back and one on the uh, top there. Wow. Alrighty. Now imagine once it starts snowing, how many accidents is gonna be, guys? We're gonna just—it's gonna be crazy. That's all I know. Yeah, I'm just waiting for a break in traffic. You guys have been asking me to do a little bit more first person, so. Go ahead and knock that out. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys. Well, you guys obviously seen it, but I forgot to mention my uniform. 
I guess we'll talk about it a little bit, but did you guys notice we added the ace towing to the back of the uniform? So basically I used one of the textures that uh, Skinworks did when he made our tow truck uh, skins. I took this one of the textures and I put it onto the raincoat. And I think it came out okay. It's a little blurry. I probably got to uh, try to make it like a little bit more HD. But um, I think it came out pretty good. I think it came out pretty good. Alright, let's get going. We still have a little more than two and a half miles to go. So, yeah, we'll pick up once we get there. I forgot to use my turn signals today. a lot of slow moving traffic in the left lanes today. Look how dirty our truck got just from driving on the road. I guess all that salt they put down to pre-treat the roads is getting our truck dirty here. They actually did that where I live at too. I was thinking we were going to get snow because they put down so much salt, but we ended up not getting any. I think we got some flurries though possibly, but I, I missed it because I was inside most of the day yesterday. So yeah, this is a pretty short tow when you think about it because I believe they want us to drop it off at the sheriff's station right there. So it's literally only 0.3 miles away. I'm going to confirm though and see if they want us to take it somewhere else, but it seems like they wanted to go there. But I wonder what they're going to do with it though because they don't have anything to fix it. So. I don't know. Okay, so it should be at this uh, sawmill right here to our left. Okay, that was a fail. I was trying to turn on my turn signals. But yeah, it should be right here to the left though. Alright, so we are on scene. Looks like the uh, sheriff is parked right here. But the one that we're towing is all the way down there. So I guess they left a unit on scene just to watch it. But it doesn't look like anything is even usable. I don't know, maybe they want to make sure nobody steals any police equipment out of it. How you doing, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm here with Ace Towing to get that uh, other Silverado there for you. You guys finished your investigation? Okay, cool. Did they decide where they want to tow it? Was it going to Polito Bay or what? Uh, they want us to tow it to our facility? Okay, no problem. You got it. Alright, so it looks like they want us to tow it to our location. <laughs> You did it! It just changed. These guys saw that, right? Am I bugging out? Wait, it was just looking. Oh, okay. Well, we far away. I'm about to say. I'm like, I know I'm not tripping. I was gonna say it doesn't look too bad, but once we get closer, it looks a lot worse. So, let's take a look at this thing. Looks like nothing really survived besides the tail lights, the emblem, and the license plate. Everything else burnt to a crisp. Wow. Okay, so uh, 
Well, take this. Well, it's gonna be kind of hard to lift it up this wall, up over this like wall right here. So I'm thinking this side looks a little less steep. So I'm gonna see if it's possible if I can get my truck over here and then we could lift it on from this side. It would be much easier than trying to lift it over this. I don't even know if I could run back up this right now. Uh. <laughs> Can't even get back up, guys. Oh man, that was hard to get back up. So yeah, if it if it was that hard for us to get up, it's gonna be even harder to get a truck up, especially since it doesn't even have tires anymore. It's just gonna be dragging on the rim. So let's hop into our truck and let's see if we could get it from the other side. I think I could get it from this trail. I'll just back straight on up. So I think from about right here we should be good. I could probably just get it right onto the truck from here. All right, so we just have to be a little bit careful and make sure we don't make our truck slip into the ditch, but I think we'll be okay. We'll put that tow bar down to give us some extra support. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach, um, grab our lines, get our hooks, and see if we can just attach to the bottom of the Silverado here. And I'm just gonna try to just muscle it right on up. All right, I'm going, I don't know if I feel comfortable trying to load it in one shot. I think I'd rather get it up to here and try to load it, but let's see what happens here. I'm thinking maybe I could just get it right onto the bed in one shot, but if anything, I'll just pull for it. All right, we're gonna try it like that and see if we're able to get it. I'm probably gonna have to reposition though, because as you can see, it's not really that even, but we'll see what happens. As far as like this underreach here, we could put it down, but I noticed when we put it down, it kind of glitches sometimes when we try to pull the trucks up so that's why I just leave it up most of the time all right so let's see if we could uh, get this truck up now all right guys so I ran my line down as you can see we have it ready to go and hooked up or hooked up to the Silverado so let's go ahead and start winching it in now I'm gonna use our wireless remote here so I could keep a good eye on it as it's coming in All right, so I'm just gonna straight on drag it right up. All right, I think I'm going to reposition the truck so I could get onto the bed. So let's actually go ahead and pull the truck forward. I think right there should be a little bit better. All right, perfect. So we should be able to use the uh, tow truck now to get it the rest of the way up and then it'll be on the bed. All right, so 
let's go ahead and pull it the rest of the way, the way up with the actual uh, truck. Let's get that onto the bed. Okay, perfect. So we got it. And now, let's make sure we get it uh, strapped down. So we're going to do four-way straps here. We'll tie this side down. And we'll also tie the other side. This thing really just got destroyed. <laughs> we'll tie this side down. It's sitting kind of low as well. I guess because it doesn't have tires, the game is getting a little bit confused maybe. But <laughs> it's like halfway into the bed. But that's okay. So we have it recovered. We have it tied down. Let's go ahead and get the bed back up. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Alright, so that looks like another successful recovery by Ace Towing. All we gotta do now is just tow it back to the shop. Oh. <laughs> that rollback was about to be crazy. Truck got damaged during that too. Hold up, we gotta fix that. All right, so let's tow this thing back to the shop, guys. Let me know how you guys think we did. I think we did a pretty good job. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed, and let's make our way back to the shop. I was gonna originally take it to the sheriff's station, but looking at it, this thing can't even be repaired. Like, I'm pretty sure this thing is totaled, I would say, so. Uh, we're just towing it back to our yard. It's funny how the truck keeps changing. Alright, so we made it back to uh, Grapeseed and Sandy Shores. I really love the lights on this truck, it looks so good. Gonna stop for the train just to be safe. 
because I don't trust these railroad crossings, as you can see. Look how long this one took to go down, and the other one's not even down yet. Oh, yeah, they need to get out and fix. Look how late it was. They need to fix these railroad these railroad um, crossings. That could have been a disaster. That's why I always stop and look. Especially when I'm towing a vehicle. The last thing I want to do is get one of my trucks stuck up there or something crazy. Alright guys, so we made it back to the shop. Looks like some more of the trucks came in. Those F-550s just came back. Alright, so we're going to park this in the rear yard. Unloading this is going to be interesting because I'm not sure what it's going to do since it doesn't have any tires, so I may do something weird, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's back up properly, but now it's just kind of stuck because it can't roll. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get it off, but let's see if I can maybe shake it. stuck all right <laughs> i'm just gonna have to pull it off but you know what we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here guys so hopefully you enjoyed this one thank you guys so so much for watching i'm gonna have to mess around with this to get it to slide off properly but thank you guys so so much for watching this video really do hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below if you're new subscribe turn on notifications and if you made it to the end of the video please leave a comment and say that you watched to the end so i can give you a special thank you in the comment section and um yeah now that i remember let me know what you guys think about our uniform here our ace towing recovery uniform looks very very nice and again i just um i use some lspdfr raincoats i'll link them down below in the video description and then i just edit it and then i use harrison's or skinworks textures to just put ace towing on the back so i don't know i think i did an okay job obviously i'm not like a professional at texturing or anything but you know i, I did all right i think i did all right so let me know what you guys think about it i'm gonna try to make it look better though but i think it looks good so far so anyway guys thank you so much for watching really do hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace